In this video, we will go over the Blepharisma experimental setup, as well as how to sample Blepharisma. Blepharisma are cultured at three different nutrient levels, low, medium, and high. The Blepharisma are raised for a time period of 30 days. Multiple cultures are created so that we are able to sample from different time periods. These include 4, 7, 10, 14, 21, and 30 day old cultures. For hypothesis 1, we will be looking only at the 14 day old cultures at the low nutrient level and the high nutrient level. In lab, we pipette these samples out into equal sized droplets and count the blepharisma present using the microscope. We will simulate this process with video. Let's do a practice count together. The first thing you want to be able to do is identify the blepharisma. These ovoid pink organisms swimming around are blepharisma. Sometimes they can appear a paler pink. You may also run into larger cannibalistic morphs of blepharisma, such as these. Now watch the sample clip and count. Did you get two as the total blepharisma count? Good! Obstacles you may run into are blepharisma swimming out of view or appearing unfocused. Use your best judgment and happy counting. That's it for this video. Use your data to answer the questions in the Google form. After that, you may move on to Hypothesis 2. For Hypothesis 2, what cultures you choose to create your hypothesis are up to you. But really think about how time and nutrient level will affect growth rate. As usual, if you have any questions, please contact your TA. 
Thank you for watching.